Oh, it's like a snake hole. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at Northfield Square Mall in Bourbonnai, Illinois. I think that's correct. Right in front of me is a spirit Halloween. I did notice this old Pier 1 over here. And if you watched my Fort Wayne, Indiana Spirit Halloween video, you would know that's exactly the kind of building that that one was in. But this one is in a mall. This looks like actually just the entrance to the mall. So I don't think when we first walk through those doors, we're gonna be in the actual Spirit Halloween. However, I could be wrong. Look at the size of that Spirit Halloween banner up there. First of all, I love the way this looks, but look at that gigantic banner. That is probably the biggest Spirit Halloween banner I've seen yet. I love this entrance, how it's all glass. Let's go on in and see what kind of awesomeness we can find. Guess what? You're on camera too. Oh, I am excited, guys, because look at this. There's a whole pallet of stuff to be unboxed right here in front of me, and I am excited. Oh my God, there's two pallets. I do not know what this store used to be, but I do like their setup. Look, they have the laboratory, and then right over here, they have the other guys. I see lots of animatronics set up. I see lots of animatronics on the floor for sale. But let's start with these guys over here. First, let's do the good old bag of bones. Come on, mister. There you go. I'll tell you what, this guy is faster than I ever remember him being. I always thought Skelly Bones was faster than him, but I think he is the fast one. Let's get him one more time here, just to confirm. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Holy crap, is he fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's move on to Mr. Dark here. Hello, Mr. Darkness. Come on, there we go. He's a straggler too. He screamed first and then he waited to make you think he wasn't gonna jump up. And then he jumped to get us. Let's get Mr. Spider going here. Come on, shiny eyes. Okay, apparently he's not gonna work. That's okay, we'll give him a break this time. And Mr. Bottoms here. All right, he's not gonna work either. These two must be in the timeout zone. Okay, let's go ahead up here and get Lord Raven rolling. Here you go, Mr. Nostrils. <laughs> Let's just look at him from the side for a minute. Look how far his neck goes out. Okay, before we go through the laboratory, let's go over and check the shirts because I am still on the hunt for that one specific Scream shirt. Oh my gosh, I just can't believe it's not in stock in any of these stores. And let's go see if they have any of my Scream stuff. Crap, come on. This is unfair and discouth. All right, let's come on back through and go through the laboratory here. This is where Possessed Pumpkin would be if they had him, but they don't. We got the Bog Zombie over here, who I keep calling the Bog Monster for some reason, but I'm not going to make that mistake today. We are going to come over and see Mr. Grimm. Hello, Mr. Grimm. Are you uh, talking today, or are you giving me the silent treatment? Okay, silent treatment it is. Okay, next up is the Bog Zombie. Do me right, Bog Zombie. Come on now. What the heck? None of these are working today. This is totally crazy. All right, silent treatment from this guy too. Hello, Mr. Skull. Hello, Mr. Skull number two. Hello, nobody. Let's go on through here. And look at this. They do have all four bubbles of death running as they should. And we have Barry sitting in his cage. Here we go. All right. At least Barry's working. Head banging Barry. However, we do not have a young Crouchy. That's too bad, but we do have Chains of Death. 
All right, let's look at what they have for sale on the floor here, guys. We have a big pile of the jumping spiders, as usual. Over here, we have a nightcrawler, a berry. We have a nozzles. We have another nozzles, and we have a bog zombie. I almost said I was surprised that nozzles wasn't set up. Then I looked back there and saw a nozzles. And I've already looked over here and determined that Monty has run away. So speaking of Nazi, let's come on back here and see how he's doing. Hey, old buddy, old pal. Nothing? You got nothing for me. I must have made these guys something mad because nobody's talking to me today. Let's try Mr. Skelly. Skelly. Come on, he's not even working. What in the world is happening in Borbanisville or whatever this place is called? <laughs> We do have some sitting scarecrows, and we do have some empty soul girls on the swing, some sinister spirit dolls, some reaper greeters, some stuffed dummy props, and some pose and stay skeletons. They do have some inflatables. It looks like basically what we see in every store. I do like that hearse inflatable though. Oh, and they do have the Frankenstein sidesteppers. They do have the vintage door knockers. Creepy skull pathway markers. Burning skull pathway markers. Flashing jack-o'-lantern pathway markers. They got this guy who seriously needs a toothbrush. Never mind the arrow in his head, he needs a toothbrush. And this guy who definitely needs some Listerine. Do we have a burrito baby? No, we don't have any burrito babies. But we do have this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and this guy. They all need homes. Come adopt one today. This one is adopt one, get one free. I mean, it would be the right guys to adopt, because they're twins and all they eat are spiders. And look right beside them, guys. They have three of the pumpkin nester dolls. These guys are probably my favorite dolls ever. Okay, maybe not. I don't want to hurt any other dolls' feelings. But you are pretty dang cool. Look, they have the possessed pumpkin mask. I love how he has the vines down here. That is awesome. Flame fiend mask. I don't know if I've ever seen this guy. I wish I could see him working, but the button's not working. I guess he just lights up and he looks like he's on fire. Oh, here's our rubber chicken friend. Listen to this guy. What do you guys think of the Cheetos costumes? Some people were kind of questioning why they're even in here. I think this one especially is pretty cool. It's like an enormous Cheeto. Okay, here's a question for you. Would you rather be a beef taco or a banana? Or maybe a hot dog or a pickle? I would like to be a peanut butter and jelly. I could go for a peanut butter and jelly right now. I'm one hungry king of the world. Wait a minute, I don't think I've seen this one before. The Union Suit. The Sully Monsters, Inc. Union Suit. It's a one-piece suit. I actually used to have this Charlie Brown costume. I mean, I look kind of like him. Oh my gosh, guys, I have never seen the Frozone suit. That is the best. Where's my super suit? And look at this. I love this costume from the Squid Game show. That girl is freaky. Look at this. They have Powerpuff Girl socks, but they don't have Mojo Jojo. They have some awesome Nightmare Before Christmas stuff this year. Look at this sweater. It's a Sally sweater. That is totally cool. Wait, what's on the back? Oh, look at this. It's a choker that looks like stitches. And yes, they have the wig too. And if you're a lazy boyfriend, you could just wear this hat and be Jack Skellington. Whoa, check out the silver marshmallow mask. I don't think I've ever seen one of those, but it really makes me want the silver scream mask even more now. Here's a door cover I haven't seen yet. Uh, Jack Skellington, every day is Halloween. And here's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't think we've seen this one yet either. That is pretty creepy. Michael carving a pumpkin. Ooh, there you go. Sam sitting on a pumpkin. We got the Gremlins bobblehead and ghost face. Wait a minute, I haven't gone through the experimental tunnel yet. I haven't been hearing it go off in here. So let's see what happens, anything? Apparently, there's no power in this one. I think they're having power issues in this whole store because nothing is on. I think only two out of all the animatronics that we tried were working. And neither are the bubbly test tubes. What the heck is that all about? <laughs> we do have a whole bunch of Beetlejuice stuff, including these plush guys. 
and the sandworm. Oh, I haven't seen this either. The Haunted Mansion Hanging Bat Decor. That's heavy, too. What the heck is that thing made of? That is a pretty solid little prop there. Tomb Sweet Tomb. Plush Jack and Sally and Zero. This one's my favorite. And here's the plush one. Oh, and then they have this guy to it. I'm not even sure what his name is. Wait, look at these multicolored neon skeletons. I've seen these in other stores, but what the heck would you use these for besides just to sit around and go, hey, look at these cool multicolored neon skeletons. Hello, bouncy gizmo. Wait a minute, guys. Have I seen this before? I kind of doubt it because I don't remember this. But look, it's a zero mug with his little pumpy nose. That is hilarious. Hot chocolate time. And here's a Gizmo Gremlins mug. That's pretty cool, too. Okay, I haven't bought any of these yet, but look at this. They have Danny with Binks, and they have Billy Butcherson, and of course, they have the three-pack of the Sanderson sisters. We see those in pretty much all the stores. Oh, and check this out, guys. They got a Chuckles. It's the only Chuckles I've seen in this whole store. Look at this gelatin brain mold. I've not looked at these yet. They're kind of stuck together. Hold on. You put food in there like jello, and then you make a brain for dinner. Okay, one last thing before we go, guys. I passed right by it. The Sam Trick or Treat by a lamppost. I just called it a lamppost. What in the world is wrong with me? I don't see any lambs by that post. All right, let's leave some stickers for the Ghostbusters. And these fine fellows. And this fine fellow. And some for the babies and a handful in the bucket.